It was in your best interest to assist me. Hey ho, how is everybody doing? What's up? Oh, there we go. Josh found a dancing emote. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. That one's vibing. How's it going? What's up to Josh? What's up to anyone else who is just now joining or lurking? I'm not going to do the standard intro because we're not doing Resident Evil today. Today we are doing a little more Metal Gear. Um, all right, let's switch over. Keep a intro brief. Oh, go tell Aunt Road. Josh can play this on the motherfucking trombone. I ain't joking. This song, I'm skipping forward a little bit. Josh can totally play that song. All right, here we are. Uh, we are here with Metal Gear today. Back in the day. Oh, I bet you can still play it. I bet it, 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 you'd have to, it would take you a minute to give the feel for it again, but I bet you could do it. Oh, I still wonder to this day if you handed me like a recorder 
if I could still play some songs. <laughs> and in the third and fourth grade, we played that thing all the time. Let me turn my fan up. It's hot in here. All right, so there we go. We got we got we got some wind blowing in here. Uh, here's what I got so far. I have not done much with Metal Gear Solid. I'm kind of waiting for a patch. I just hate the way it looks. I'd really like for them to up improve the emulation of this one before I beat it. We'll see what happens. They've promised a patch, but prom you know what they say about promises? They can be broken sometimes. Uh, I also do want to beat Metal Gear 1 and 2. One of these days, one of these days. Um, oh man, I don't have a recorder on me. And I don't even know that we ever played that one. We mostly played stuff for the Nutcracker play. Alright, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, that's what we're here for today. We're going for a whole mess of trophies and accomplishments. Um, yeah, I'm sure we'll get that. And I'm sure we'll get... They've, they've promised that. And, and by the way, guys, let me know if the... This is a loud-ass motherfucking copy of this game. Let me know if it's blowing y'all out of the room. Um, I'm going to turn it down a little on my end. Um, by the way, some just little nitpicky things I want to point out that I find strange. Uh, like, alright. This is a pretty sleek, pretty clean-looking menu. I, t I do tend to like it. It's pretty well balanced. Check. Le legal and privacy is cased properly. Like, it's it's cased in a good way. Why is terms of use cased properly, but licenses is yelling at me? Like, why? Why is licenses in all caps? I know it's minutia, but I can't help but just feel like, terms of use. Licenses! Um, then when we go to options, they're all in caps. Language! Notifications! Credits! It's just like, my god. And one thing I don't like about this is even though the menu looks sleek, when you click on these, it just takes you, it just pulls up the PlayStation's web browser. Alright, hold on. Regarding the known issues, alright, let let's check this out. Update notice, this is 1024, has, uh, version 1.21 has been released today. Below are the details of the update. Minor bug fixes. Oh, nice details, Konami. Regarding the known issues, the following known issues will be fixed in a future update. We apologize for any conveniences. The timing for a scene and background music to trigger in a certain cutscene is slightly different from the original game. A patch to correct the timing to match the original game is planned. That's it? My god. What about putting it in high resolution or something? Language! All caps. Why? Download. I think all add-ons have been installed. All right. The one thing I do love in this is both the master book and the um, the master book and the and the screenplay collection. That's good shit. There's no arguing with this. There's no arguing with this. First release for a console. No arguing with it. It is cool. These two right here. All right. Game selection. And I do like that you can choose the different regional stuff. That's good. All right. North American release. Start game in all caps. Online manual. Who's choosing what stuff is in all caps? And what stuff is cased properly? And why? If someone can decode... It still has the HD collection logo in the corner as it's loading up. It's like, uh... Could they not? In fairness, Metal Gear does do that. Like, it will be like, press the codec button. Like, in the codec in all caps. It does do that. Um... I'm gonna point out a bunch of stuff. Some good, some bad, some ugly. Here's the title screen to Snake Eater. It still says 2011. Um, it is, it is. Just, but it, the, but this isn't called the HD collection. Hold on, I got a sneeze brewing. Uh, you can change the backgrounds and colors here. I always liked that. I always like to get a good orange going. And uh, you can slow it down or or, or speed it up. Um, anyway, press start. So I have beaten this once. I beat this last night. Uh, I love the super ultra snappy fast loading times. That I will praise all day long. Uh, I like my stuff inverted because I'm weird. Alright. We keeping the blood on. So yeah, we got everything. We got the briefing files. Demo theater. 
It was always a bummer that the HD collection version of MGS3 does not have no Snake vs. Monkey, no dual mode, which was like a kind of a twist on boss survival, but that I thought was kind of cool. Um, and had obviously the, 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 we don't have Metal Gear Online one, but yes, we, there are two things that are great that we have: super fast loading times. This includes codecs moving between areas and locked frame rate. Those are the two biggest perks of playing the game this way. After the end of World War II, still 720p. Split into two. Still East with 2x multi-sampled anti-aliasing, it doesn't look bad in my war. opinion. With the post-processing, with the when you have when you have anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering, Jack, it does help news. the image. But it certainly, it sure as shit could look better. No, oh, I don't think it does. 3DS version best confirmed. If they add, if they ever add a retro achievement set for 3DS games. I'm going to have to play that version. And to be fair, that game does have some unique things. Like, here's something cool about the 3DS version. You can crouch, and you can walk like this. That should have always been the case for this game. Instead, you here you crouch. Yeah, it'll run like crap. But yeah, the frame rate you'll, will go to shit. 20, honestly, would be at, is probably at its best. But it does make some improvements, like, to being able to to crouch and walk. You also do get third-person aiming, which is nice. All right, one of, the, one of the things we're going for, I'm not worrying about my time, but I am going to pull up a list here. And I'm going to, I, I, because my uh, computer's been, I've, I've, I've discussed the computer crashing issue before. Because of that, I am going, to, I, I actually made a WordPad document, and I'm getting all them things. All right, I'm going to be pointing out also, we're going to be doing some fun stuff too. Some bonus extras, some features. Um, There's our first mushroom. Mushroom C, the Siberian ink cap. Up here has got some life medicine, if you didn't know. If you didn't know, now you know. You can hop on down. Climb up this tree. And we're going to grab our backpack in all caps. Maybe it's just a Konami thing. Maybe it's some. Maybe they, for some reason, they like to do that. Maybe they like to, like watch, in the early call. I see you've no, your backpack backpacks in lowercase. But check this out. To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival see? viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. They love doing your this in Metal Gear. weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. From that list. All right, we'll skip this. This is a long codec call. Um. Yeah, it loves to. I'm gonna point out some funny ass stuff, by the way. Assuming I don't fuck up. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. All right. Again, you can't argue with the loading times. It is nice. Now, this is a new game plus, so I got it all. I have every face paint. This includes infinity face paint. Look at that. We got the green and green face paint. Grip gauge will not diminish. Brown face paint. O2 will not diminish. Infin infinity face paint. We have all these different flags. We can go America. Uh, we have every camo pattern. Uh, I got them all. I, re I remember where all of them are. I, I, I rather like this game. We got our tuxedo. Oh, you can't have infinity? Oh, you can't have any face paint with tuxedo. Hornet stripe. We got all the boss camos. We got all of these. A lot of these have some hidden properties, too. Like DPM... Uh, doubles your natural life recovery rate. Flectarn prevents battery drain. Oscam drops damage to two thirds. Animals removes any handshaking. Fly keeps in en enemies will think twice before attacking you because you stink. I love that one. There's a lot of crazy camos. Uh, Spirit eliminates your footstep sound. That one's pretty cool. Um, I'm okay with using bonus uh, weapon or I mean bonus items because it actually. With everything else I'm going for, I'm going for the Markor rank, and it'll actually help me. I also have bonus weapons. I've got the Single Action Army and the Patriot. Um, so, let's get ourselves some stuff. You can always take off the uh, suppressor if you want to save it, which is a good idea. If you're in an area with no enemies. Oh, I forgot we had these fruits already. 
Now, I don't know. Oh, I didn't know. I, I also had forgotten that these give you D-Med. Which I forget which one that is. Not that it matters in the Virtuous mission, but still good to know. Um, all right. So we got ourselves some fruits. We are going for no kills. No alerts. We got this we got this thing right here. Okay. We got, we got Mushroom A and Mushroom C. Brandon's going to be keeping a detailed list over on his end. Um, of everything that's going to be checked off. That's what he's going to do all day. We got snakes. Alright. Bullets full. Um... There's also... So let's see what all we got here. You don't have to eat them, you just have to catch them. Reticulated python. There's also apparently a giant anaconda in this area. Uh, let's let's look through this food real quick. I like to eat everything. So we know how it tastes. Tasty. Tasty. Alright, we'll throw away the other python. Let's taste the Russian oyster mushroom. Disgusting. Ah, it tasted bad. Russian false mango. Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. All right, Siberian ink cap. Sick. So, <laughs> I like the way he says that. Sick. I don't think he means cool. All right. Uh, there's going to be some birds flying around here. I don't have my um, thermal goggles yet. But we got to get every animal. Not that they're only going to be in this one area, but... You can hear it. You can hear it singing. There's apparently also got a, an anaconda in this area, which I didn't know about. I'm, I've got a list here. Now, it could be that it appears here later. You can actually come back here during Operation Snake Eater. Um, if you want to be crazy, you can do that. I want to say there's some items. Oh, there goes that bird. Oh, I wanted that bird. I mean, there'll be many opportunities to get that bird. But I still wanted it. Let's see. Bump, 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 bump. I'm wondering what this other snake is. Anyway, we'll find them all. Reticulated python, giant anaconda. That will appear a bunch of places. So I don't think that we have to worry too much. Let's move forward. We got the Siberian ink cap. I just want to take one last glance and see if I can see a bird. I see butterflies, but I don't see no bird. Whoa! I see a snake. Could be one I already had. Uh, there's something else I want to try, actually. Snake G. Was that the other... Giant... Oh, there it is. Giant anaconda. Nice. Alright, the other one I got was a different snake. Alright, let's see if I can get... See if I can get myself a bird. You have to see... You have to spot it. You have to have a sharp eye. You gotta have a sharp eye like Josh. I have an idea to get that bird. I'm gonna we're going to sneak like we're Josh. Today we're playing this game like we're Metal Glen Solid. We're going to be very precise. We're going to know what we're doing. We're going to move. We have four of them. Oh, man. All right, hold on. Look at me sneak. I wish I had my thermal goggles. I'll get them in a few areas. Keep, keep an eye out. I, I know you've probably learned a lot from Glenn, but I, I know some crazy stuff too. I might not be as fast as him, but I know some I know some I know some sneaky moves. I'm gonna try to sneak up on this bird. Assuming it's still here. I hear him. Oh Did it fly away? It's hard to tell. I wish I had any type of goggles. Ow! Oh! Always, always gets away. All right, there'll be there'll be there'll be more time for bir for them birds. Let's move forward. We spent enough time in this area. Well, we're not gonna be, we're not going for a crazy good time. We're just going for for a crazy good time with each other. If that makes sense. I I really want to get those damn birds. They keep flying off. All right, now, I have to be careful here. I got bug juice. I only have a mark. I don't have a handgun. 
So all I can really do is put him to sleep. Now when he's asleep... Yeah, I killed him alright. Alright, we got some alligator. Let's eat alligator. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, now here's a pro tip. The hornet's nest, in addition to going after enemies, which is always fun, also drops ointment for when you get burned. And every time you heal yourself in this game, there's also a grenade shell in there, every time you heal yourself in this game, it extends your maximum health. Right over here, we have a suppressor for the hush puppy. Whoop. Try not to... You can drown in the mud, if you're not careful. Right, I'm gonna look over here. I hear birds. I just can never get a drop on them. Alright, we've gotten, we've gotten these mangoes, but apparently these mangoes... Or maybe that's a different, that's a different type. Here we go. Hold. Oh, I actually didn't want to do that. That's okay. Snake H. Are there any other snake H's? Yes, there are. I want to catch this one in a cage. Now, we are going to have to do some loading and reloading during this playthrough for various, for various things. And we can always hit up paramedic and friends to comment on some of our some of our things. Now, Josh, tell me if you knew about this. Are you off today, by the way? Or are you just chilling at your house? I don't want to like annoy the shit out of you if you're like filling up a mocha latte right now. And you're like, bro, I'm trying to remember how much sugar this woman wants. You can go back here. Where you arrive on on Operation Snake Eater. You can go back here. This is just kind of for fun. And what do we have? Got Kroger there today, but you got, you're off from Starbucks. Nice. So you got a little chill time. We got the sniper rifle back here. Just for the virtuous mission, if you ever want to use it. You can go, this is the area where you would... This is where you would approach the boss. During Operation Snake Eater. It's kind of cool that you can kind of come back there a little early. I think most people don't think to go back that way. Especially with... Oh, hold on. This guy thinks he sees something. Put on the put the suppressor back on. I'm just seeing things. Yeah, he's just seeing things. I, I shot out his radio. I love doing that. And by the way, some Metal Gear purists hate this because the original on PS2 and PS3, they had pressure-sensitive face buttons. I personally do not mind at all. Aiming with um, square and then being able to press L3 to put the gun away as opposed to, like, being able to do this. That, to me, feels better than holding it down and then gently pressing off. Yeah, I mean, I never liked that. Now, everyone's different. Some people miss that. Um, I'm just not one of them. We're going to do our first save here. Um, Saving the game, Snake? Yes, I am, and we'll do a set. We'll do a separate file. This will be a new file, file two. Hey, Snake, you ever heard of Godzilla, King of Monsters? No. What is it? That too. It's yeah. It's a movie. You it's it's a, yeah. That's a good way to put it. It is a bitch it's and a half to emulate, and quite frankly, even on original on hardware, I was never really fond of it. Tokyo. Nuclear test. Huh? It's a novel well, idea, and I like. I get the concept. Monsters, like you right gently let now. go, as if you're letting it's go of the gun. It's kind of trying to create that feel. So but lately. another thing is, like Say, in this game. It's a movie. Not anyway, I'll, I'll skip this. A another thing about this game is, like, when you grab someone in a CQC chokehold, like, it used to be that you would slit their throat depending on how hard you press down. O, which you could totally do by accident. Here, you grab them with O, you hold it down. If you want to, if you want to interrogate him, it's L3. If you want to slit their throat, it's triangle. It's just, I mean, I prefer that. Now, there are some oversights and some flaws with the way that they did this. For example, in Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, you can't do this as with certain weapons that you should be able to do that with. Um, which is definitely an oversight. So, hopefully, some of this crap gets fixed. 
Some of this was still true in HD edition. Some of it's still true now. Some stuff's fixed. Some stuff's you know it's a, it, it's kind of all over. It's kind of all over the shop. Hold on, I want to sneak up on some birds. Yeah, yeah. So um, hold on a second. I want to try to get, get this bird real quick. I was supposed to say, no way. No way. That would be the craziest thing ever if I caught that bird. Uh, so, yeah, Josh, in 2 and 3, if you hold square, and then you hold L1, you can do this. Now, in 2, it's more you're just, you, you don't have the free camera angle, the, the free camera positioning, obviously. But, yeah, hold L1, and you can do this. All right, hold on. Yeah, it's it comes in handy. Hold on, I see something moving. I I, I just I want to get one of these birds. God. All right. Oh, let me put my infinity face paint back on. We're not worrying about that this playthrough. Also, uh, let's make sure that all of our DLC camos are still here. With, um, we go to cam uniform. Oh, yeah, we got them all. That seems to be all of them. St. Valentine's, West Germany. I don't know what this one is exactly. They never had a description ever. Um, a few of them do have abilities, though. Grenade gives you infinite grenades. Mummy gives you infinite bandages. <laughs> so there's definitely some cool stuff. Some of them are just silly. Rainbow, Santa. Uh, over on Outer Heaven, every Christmas, they do a Santa-only run. Because it's a really bad camo index in general. <laughs> uh, like St. Valentine's. Swamp. But I do like that we have these here. Alright, let's see. I'm, I'm going to go with Flectarn as my general with Infinity Face Paint. We do have a save going. Uh, we are doing no alerts, no kills. One of these guys, if you hold them up, will give you a dirty magazine, which I actually would like to try and pull off because there's a funny call with the boss about it. I don't know if you've seen that call. She's like, Snake, what do you have there? He's like, Ugh. It's a little bit of a revealing call, too, about the relationship. See if I can get it going. All right, check this out too. Freeze! When you freeze in this one, it, they'll, you can circle around them. Please don't. I'm ducking to improve my camo index. Huh. More, more, more. I need to get that sound bite from Star Wars. Huh. The more, more. Bug juice, all right. Enough out of you. Let me see if I can get some. You don't want to give me dirty magazines. We'll see about your friend. All right. To wait for him to turn around. More. More! More! Alright, here we go. I just gotta be careful because there's a fourth dude back there. I hate how slow stalking mode is in this game. Something there? Something there. There's that, there's that guy. Oh. oh, shit. Nope. H. Look at that. <laughs> Damn it! Unit. Their status. No, don't. I have a save here, in case things go, in case things go down. All right, some other little tricks in this log. Hey, what's up, Tyler? In this log, there are thermal goggles. That's only here during Virtuous Mission. 
something unusual. There's a keratin frog. I do believe... I'm actually not sure. Josh, do you know? I, know, I think you asked, Glenn. Do you know if those stack on playthroughs? Because if I see them, I might as well hit them. And then over here, we have a stun grenade. Not that we're going to need too much for Virtuous Mission, but nice to know where everything is. Um, you were disappointed. You heard this was coming to Game Pass. Uh. Well, don't believe everything you hear. Hold on. I want to get that. I want to try to get that bird again. I think that's a good opportunity to get the bird. You don't think they do? I think you actually are right. That was my understanding as well. All right. I'm gonna get. Oh, hold on. I've got the thermal. I've got the damn thermal goggles now. Do I see something there? Yo! Frog B! Alright, let's look out. We're looking out for birds now. Is that one? God damn, dude. I keep trying to get these stupid birds. Oh, Brandon's got a long Ethernet cable. All right. Ah. It's finally wired, boys. Wired now. Wired Brandon gets a little crazy. Whoa, whoa! Who was that? When Brandon has had. And e when Brandon has an Ethernet cable, you don't know what he's going to do. I don't know everything about Brandon, but I know to just watch, keep my eye on him when he's got an Ethernet cable. You learn to keep your eye out. All right, hold on. I got to get one of those stupid-ass birds. I don't literally have to, but hold on. There's one totally right there. Oh, I got it. That one I missed, but that's okay. Cage full. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, I can go ahead and eat the tree frog. This is horrible. Oh, <laughs> come on, snake. That's mean. That's just mean. All right, hornet's nest. Let's eat it. You don't have to eat them all. I want some more. Oh, yeah, that's good, apparently. Apparently, this is gross. Let me, uh, hold on. Paramedic will comment on all of these foods. I see you've captured a giant anaconda. The giant anaconda is believed to be the largest snake in the world in terms hey, of Hey, what's up, Umbrella diameter. HR? It's not poisonous, but its large size makes it extremely powerful. Hmm. They say it even eats crocodiles. Whoa. Its only natural predator is man. Whoa. And snake. And snake. Got it. So how does it taste? I knew you were going to ask me that. Glad I didn't disappoint you. So? Well, the guide says it tastes all right. Good. I'll have to try some. Ugh. I see you caught yourself a reticulated python. The reticulated python is said to be the longest snake in the world. The biggest ones can grow up to 10 meters in length. Although they're not poisonous, they're still very dangerous, so be careful around them. They have a highly ferocious temperament, and they can swallow whole, even large animals like deer and pigs. Whoa. Their most distinguishing feature is the mesh pattern of their scales. This pattern acts as a highly effective natural camouflage. If you think there might be a reticulated python about, pay close attention to your surroundings. Otherwise, you could get bitten before you even know it's there. Mm. You've eaten one, haven't you? Yeah. It wasn't half bad. Cannibal. What was that? Nothing. Talk to you later. I like how there's different dialogue, whether he's eaten certain foods or not. I see you've captured an Indian gavial. The Indian gavial is a crocodile that originally lived in freshwater regions in India and Nepal. Why are Indian crocodiles way out here? They're captive crocodiles that were brought here for research purposes, but escaped and became wild again. Indian gavials are large creatures. 
Adult males grow to over six meters in length. That's big. You'll never catch one alive, even if you use the tranquilizer gun. I tried the meat. It was great. <laughs> yeah, good for you. But be careful when capturing an Indian gavial. Normally they're cowardly creatures, but the ones in the forest there are belligerent. Apparently they attack humans. Mm. What do you mean? They weren't the direct subject of any serious research, but some think they may have become violent as a side effect of the atomic research that was conducted nearby. Interesting. I see you've caught yourself a Sunda whistling thrush. The Sunda whistling thrush is a bird native to Java and Sumatra. It's distinguished by its large blue body and long beak. Apparently there's two really types of birds out, out here. In the forest. Got it. So... How does it taste? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know. The guide doesn't say. Hmm. I guess there's no reason you couldn't eat them. Oh, I see. But it's nice and plump, so I'm sure it'd make a hearty meal. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I see you found a Yabloco Maloco. Uh, Yablo what now? Yabloco Maloco. It's hmm. a Russian name that roughly translates as milk apple. It's a type of star apple. The juice is thick and sweet, like milk, hence the name. And if you cut one in half lengthwise, you'll see a star-shaped ring radiating out from the center. Hence the star apple. Right. The star Hope you guys are taking notes. The gelatinous texture and is said to be especially tasty. Sounds useful. You're welcome. For once. Did you say something? No, uh, back to the mission. <laughs> Alright, I think that's all my foods. I thought he didn't like the Yabloko Lamoko. Not so great. Yeah, uh, he, he doesn't like him. I wonder now, sometimes, this game's crazy with this detail. Like, it could be that if you call her back now, he'd be like, I didn't like it. I see you found a Russian false oh. mango. The Russian false mango is a mango-like fruit found only in Salino Yarsk. The egg-shaped fruit is sweet and tangy with a pleasing aroma, just like a mango. Yeah, it was pretty tasty. <laughs> See? Also, the seeds can be used to make a medicine that aids in digestion. Ah. It might come in handy if you ever have an upset That's stomach. why you get that medicine from it. Okay. All right. I think we're good to go for now. can always flip back to the old school camera too. This is how it was when you first put when the first game first came out in 2005 for PS2, 2004 or whatever. You had to play with the camera like this. It's pretty awful. I think that was 2004, and then in 2005 they were like, all right, they put out Subsistence, Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence with an updated camera. I like uh, I like snakes. Mischievous grin coming up here. He sees a hornet's nest. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> the Bart Simpson and snake comes out. <laughs> Love it. All right, hold on. We're going to shoot it. Watch this. This guy doesn't like it. Look at him go crazy. We fall. Hold on. Do we have a, do we have a scope? Hold on. Let me get it out of my backpack. I'm like ah, oh, hornets. No. I think they get that other guy too. They get them all. They're gone. <laughs> They're out of here. All right. I'm gonna keep the suppressor on just to be safe. All right, I got a little guide here. Let me see. So here we just have the hornet's nest. It's the only unique. All right, move forward. Always love the sound design here. You can really hear the wind and the water. Apparently, there are some audio balance issues with this most recent release. I haven't noticed them, but I, I trust others that they are there. I'm 
Just haven't really noticed them myself. But if they are there, then hopefully they... Hopefully we get... I, I assume we will see a string of patches with these. There we go. Got a bunch of goodies. There's a pro tip if you're playing this game. Bunch of goodies down there. Alright, so we have not been spotted. We have not killed anyone. And I believe that we have not missed anything in terms of uh, animals. All right. I'm going to do a save here. We're, we're going to do saves pretty often here to ensure that we do not get get any kills, do not get any alerts. Snake. Feel free to let me know if you want to hear some of these Kodak calls. I'm not we're not doing a full story playthrough or anything. But if you guys do want to hear some of the calls. Oh shit. Caution's fine. Caution's not alert. This is HQ. God, I'm trying to lift this dude up. What's going on? Respond. There's something wrong. Support unit. Confirm their status. Alright, let's get let's get hidden. Let's get hidden. That's a pretty early mess up here for me. What all we got? Spirit <clears throat> excuse me. Spirit is good. It eliminates footstep noise. 90%, not too bad. What's up, buddy? Ah! Oh, shit, I fucked up. Totally got me. Ow. I'm gonna have to reload it, because I got an alert. I do want to try something real quick. Well, they won't do it during alert. Do I have two... I do have two anacondas. Here, I'm gonna try to get out of alert mode, and I'm gonna see if I can get one of them to eat the snake. What's this call? Snake, do you read? Snake! Major. Snake, are you alright? Yeah. I'm okay. You're far from okay. Ah, okay. It's letting you know about your life gauge. Ow. Ow. Oh, God. Totally gonna die. Look at this. Look at my health. This is insane. Don't come over here. Ah! Woo! Come on, go down. Switch stuff up. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna have to reload this anyway. But I'm gonna. There's a, a trophy I need to get for getting one of them to get poisoned by a snake. Now I don't know. The, the cheat. The trophy is written as poisoned, but I don't know if um, if simply having them bit by a snake is good enough. AP sensor going. What's wrong? HQ, please respond. This is HQ. Patrol here. We've lost sight of the intruder. Going into high alert. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. Risky business. I'm gonna have to crawl. Crawl on the ground like the snake I am. I'm gonna need better 
camouflage than this. Damn it. All right, hold on. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try something here. Like I said, we have to reload this one anyway. I've got two snakes. What's wrong? Who's oh, that? Shit. Oh, fuck. Let's just restart it. I'm totally dead. Alright, we will exit. Time paradox. Snake's dead. The entire series is over. None of this ever happened. Alright, I wish you could skip this. That would be, be a nice update. Konami, if you're taking notes. All right, load game. Boop. All right, this time I have to be more careful. Got him. See, I messed up on him earlier. Got him. A good little chunk of dudes in here. Oh boy, this is going to be a risky shot. Maybe not. Alright, got a shotgun. All right, dude says, what's wrong? Let's go ahead and switch. We're, we're, we're going kind of fast here. Snake. We've got a bunch of camos this time around. Hold on. There he is. Got him. Not thermal goggles on the AP sensor. Going sneak. Oh, we got a we got a snake. Cage full. There's one guy down. I see another one right here. Got him. All right, I think there's still one more. There he is. Got him. That should be all of them. I just knocked him out, so they should be out for a little while. We're playing on hard, by the way, if anyone's wondering. This is hard mode. Not extreme. Not European extreme. But not normal. Not easy. Not very easy. Hard. If I need to make that more clear, just let me know. I see a... I see a... Right. Nothing out here. Shake these fools. Give me something good. Grenades. We're going to skip all this. Thankfully, we can skip it quickly. All right. All right. I like to shake Ocelot. You get a mouse trap. Not that you need it here, but you can do it. In fact, you don't need anything here because we're about to move into Operation Snake Eater. But... We did good. We haven't killed anyone. No alerts. We reloaded our save. No, so no deaths. No alerts. No nothing. We got everything. And we're gonna jump this way. Dolino Vodno. All right, here we go. We're gonna skip, skip, skip. 
Skip to my loo. Skip this. Alright. Here, if you turn the camera, we get a little sneak peek here at the sorrow. Don't, can't look for, through first person view. I saw this area looked really nice, though. But we do get a little sneak peek at the sorrow. In the original camera angle, you can only kind of see him like this. In the original release of Snake Eater. But there he is. Alright, let's cure ourselves up. Deep cut. Suture. Bandaged. Suture kit, bandage, styptic, disinfect it. There we go. We're good. Alright, done with all this. We're not doing a story playthrough. We'll go ahead and save. Yes. We will save right over our new file. We've got to let the title theme play. Am I right? What a thrill. Apparently they fixed the timing of this. It was evidently messed up in the original, or, or not in the original, but in HD collection. I can make her say that with R1. Hey, what's up, Mary? How's it going? <laughs> Every time she says snake eater, just hit R1. Very James Bond. You can clearly see the inspiration. All right. How's that for an intro? One week later. Soviet airspace. Arriving at the desert. All right, hold on. Drone Before I skip this point. one. Drone oil pressure and voltage are nominal. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload any three systems shows no problems. No gusts. All systems go for drone detachment. Snake, we can't risk a halo jump this time around. Airspace security has gotten tighter since we were last here. Can't get as close to the All right, here we go. Pretty soon it lets me get a. So instead, we can we'll do a first-person view. Weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. If you fail, 
You'll be back in a hospital bed again, waiting for the firing squad. Jeez. Back in a hospital bed. Healing up. Waiting for a firing squad. So how does it feel to be yesterday? The all right. A lot of those scenes are really good, but we're not doing a story run here. Here we go. The KGB has snake's got the Snake's got a babe here. Yumi Kikuchi. That's it. They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. Can't help but chuckle. All right, but Snake's yeah, Snake's got a picture of a babe in there. All right, here we are in Operation Snake Eater. So, you do not start off with the Hush Puppy in this one, with the dart gun. But we're still going to be kicking some snakes. Boop. Alright, let me pull up my little list. We have to get every animal, every plant, every blade of grass. Brandon's like, whoa. Brandon's like, isn't that a little much? tell you what's a little much, Brandon. You question all of my decisions. I'm sure Brandon never gets sick of that one. <laughs> Where I just make him say random stupid things. Alright, hold on. Let me look around here a little bit. Make sure we got everything. Brandon's like, yeah, I love that joke. The one where you make me say the things that I, that, I, that I would never say. Yeah, real funny. Real real, real unique and, and clever, Drew. All right, let me look through my stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, great joke, man. I'm like, sorry, Brandon, I'm just kidding. He's like, no, it's fine. I understand. Because I like the joke. All right, I know. Oh, here we go. I knew there was one of these here. All right. These are also very useful to have because every time you heal yourself in this game, as I've said before, extend your health bar. So, if you ever want to play, if you ever play on hard or extreme, and you don't care about how much time you take, d deliberately injuring yourself in this game and then healing is a good way to is a good strategy because you can eventually get your health bar as long as your stamina bar. And that's helpful in this game. Especially because... Oh, there we go. I didn't know that one was there. Especially because your health is always auto-regenerating in this game. Slowly, but surely. Alright. We're going to have some uh, snakes here. I'm gonna throw. Uh, we don't need this silencer, actually. Gonna take a look around. Whoa! Whoa! I've never done that before! Oh, dude! I jumped off and landed on the snake and killed him that way. Oh, man. Someone clipped that. I didn't even know you could do that. I didn't even know that was a thing. I legit never knew that was a thing. Oh, that's crazy. I remember there's always a snake here. Boom. All right. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. That that was crazy. I had never done that and didn't know you could do that. I just jumped off, did the roll kind of in the air, and landed on the snake and killed it. That was crazy. This is All right. All right, this part is is tough. You have no weapon. So you have to really get hidden. Um, we're not going to worry about... Uh, thank you, Brandon. I appreciate it. Uh, moss? 100%. I love moss camo. It's very hard to get a 100% camo index in this game. But with moss, if you're on moss, then it's 100%. What the hell is this? HQ? HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. We have evidence of an enemy intruder. Commence alert formation. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra Hey, what's up, controller freak? It's nice to see you here. I have to be careful here. I'm actually going to go ahead and do a save, believe it or not. 
because I have no alerts, no deaths yet, and uh, if I need to reload quickly, I don't have to skip all the cutscenes and stuff again. Not that it takes as long on this one, but you know what I mean. All right, let's get. All right, as soon as I'm off the moss, I dropped from 100 to 60, but I, thankfully I have a lot of camo patterns. Desert Tiger seems pretty good for the moment. All right. Oh, now now we're off. We have to you have to really be on top of this one area. This one area right here. Um Ninety-five percent is pretty good. They have to be really close to being on top of you to see you. But I have no weapon right now. I have no weapon right now. I just have a knife and stun grenades. I think you can find like some smoke grenades, but hold on, I've got a knife. Ooh, that snake was gonna bite me. That snake was about to bite me. Alright, we got some frogs. Alright, there's gonna be dudes over here. I'm gonna try to go around the long way. Do I have my AP sensor? I do. Oh, God. Alright, that guy thinks he saw something, but he didn't see diddly squat. And so if I can, if I can quickly hide myself a little better, Desert Tiger, he'll be like, ah, it must be my imagination. I'm just seeing things. That's right. If you're at 95 and you're moving slow, even on hard, you're in pretty good shape. Alright, moving a little faster. This area can be tricky. Checking. It lets me know if anyone's close by. Alright, caution is almost over. This is, of course, a stealth game, so there's going to be some slow moments here and there. I'm going to wait for caution to go away before I get out of here. Let's even see if we can switch into... Slip into something a little more appropriate. There we go. And let's refill our stamina. Let's eat a Siberian ink cap. I'm gonna puke. King Cobra. All right. We'll save everything else. There's a bunch of dudes, but they're not gonna see me. There's the moon. All right. Almost over. If you don't, the reason I'm waiting is because I don't want the caution to carry over the next green. This is HQ. All right, now caution's over. This is a great spot to save. Because that can be a really tricky area. I want to save, yes. Alright. Um, Alright, so I'm pretty visible right now. Let's switch to Flectarn and see if there's anything else that's better. Not Spider. Ah! I think I saw you think you saw nothing? Huh. Guess I'm seeing things. Yeah, you're you're seeing things. All right, hey, what's up, Azari? How's it going? All right, I do not. Ha I have to be careful here. I don't have a a, a weapon, and I can't. I, I've got to save.
Got to save. I'll take a look here at my uh, my list here of stuff. You ready for your little cousin's wedding? Oh my! Down. All right, now we're gonna get out of here. Anything down there? There is. Oh god. Ooh! Hold on. Let me see if I can switch. I, I'm got. I could easily get a caution here, which I'm not too worried about. I just don't want an alert. We're going for no kills, no alerts. Collecting all the stuff, Azari. If you're wondering what's what we're doing. Oh my god. All right, hold on. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try at least. Uh, ah, the true ending, eh? The spirit spirit means no footstep sounds. There it is. Oh boy. I know there's a face paint here, but I already have it. But I want to make sure we got everything. All right, life medicine, smoke grenade. Let's get the hell out of here before they wake up. We don't want them to wake up. Whoa! Rasmet! We did good. All right. Yeah, it does look really good. All right, we're going to look around here. We're going to get every item before we meet up with Eva. All right, AK-47. There's a bunch of items here, so take notes. You want to know where everything is. Bunch of items here. We got smoke grenades. We are we get our first box here. Jump down. All right, we're gonna look around just a little bit. There's a couple other items chilling. All right, just looking, just looking. All right, being thorough. Always like this trick. You can push the barrel. These are all explosive. You don't want to shoot them. All right, we get something here. Bug juice! That's actually useful in the next area, but we have a camo that will take care of it. There's normally a face paint right here, but we already got it. This is my second playthrough on this version. Boom! Alright, no weapon yet. Um, alright. Gonna go here. Here. Right there, we get mine detector, which is gonna be useful soon. Go in here. I think we get the thermal goggles here. Yep. gonna walk on out <laughs> I haven't done that yet on this but I have done it before I did it on the for retro achievements on the ps2 version on the on uh, PCSX2 but for this playthrough probably not but I could all right I will save second file All right, no kills, no alerts. So this this is going to be a little challenging. All right, first we're going to pause it. We're going to get all our ducks in a row here. Splitter is going to be a good one here. Uniform, I want to be as hidden as I can inside without use without having to use spider. Uh, thermal goggles, AP sensor, all that will be is good for now. Definitely need the hush puppy. Stun grenades, though I probably won't be using them. Um, okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna be good for right now. They are about to break this door down. Woo! 
Nine enemies. Two darts there. Got him. Got him. It'll waste a lot of shots. Whoops. You have to be careful. All right, now they, they know there's someone shooting. Which you would think they'd know before, but... That's the way this game works. What? What? There he goes. All right, here. There, that guy, that guy goes, too. All right, there's going to be one more. It usually comes looking this way. There's five left. Try to get him to Where come did out. That come from? Trying to get the attention of that dude. Once they're down, they do not wake back up in this in, during this kind of like this is kind of a semi boss fight. In the original subsistence release, they had a dual mode, which is like a boss survival, and they counted this as a boss fight. Let me go. Alright, so, you can sneak through here. For anyone who's just tuning in, this is not really a story playthrough, but I'm going for a playthrough with no kills, no alerts, all plants, all animals, and trying to get every trophy. The only two I won't be able to get this run. Hold on. Got him. Gonna need some more ammo soon, but I at least got him. There are four, all right, four left. The only there's, I think there's only two trophies I won't be able to get this run. Uh, one will be for shooting all 64 keratin frogs. I'm gonna have to use a guide for that. The other will is gonna be achieving a, I think it's a foxhound or big boss rank, whatever it is. Um, all right, here I'm gonna have to be careful. Um, but for that one, I think I might have to even play on extreme. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check. right up there. There we go. You definitely want to get him. In terms of being able to be spotted, that's the easiest to do to spot you, the sniper on the roof, which makes sense, of course. Three rounds left. Um, so let me carefully sneak my way through here and determine if Snake is going to be a better camo than Splitter or anything else. I could always throw on Spider, which I actually might do. Spider reduces, or it puts you at at least 75 to 80 if you're standing still, but it drains your stamina bar super fast. So it's, it's a risky... I don't know if risky is the right word, but... It has a definite downside. I'm going to hit this dude with one dart. There's a the guy right here. I got him once. I need to eat something because my aim, you can tell, snake's kind of shaking around because of low stamina. Uh, King Cobra, let's go ahead and eat that. Oh, we'll get a little video. <laughs> I love the goofy just F and V of Snake chowing down. Mm. All right, that's enough. Hey, this works. How about the Otten Frog? Hey, this works. Hey, you liked it, okay? All right, let's get this spider camo off if I can. I don't want this dude to see me though. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna have to leave it on until they both pass out. Just your imagination that you felt a prick in the leg. There it is. All right, they're both down. All right, let's let's change. I'm gonna put on Flectarn, maybe. Animals. 
Snake. We'll put on Snake. Snake is a good... This is the one you get from the boss. Provides the ultimate cover. It's kind of a good go-to camo. Alright, I've got one left. Quite sure I know where the last guy is. Wait a minute, what ammo is that? Uh, okay. Not for, not for the gun I wanted, but... I know where the last dude is. But we could use some items right now. Alright. Medicine's always good. They will not wake up in this one area. Rations. When you're going for all plants and animals, rations, noodles, and... Um, what's the other one? Rations, noodles, and um, the calorie mate actually don't count. Hey, what's up, Baron? All right. There's going to be one more dude. Right around here. Let's get sneaky. Oh, there he is. A little exposed right here, but I just want to see what these guys have. And give this guy a shake. Noodles. Alright, from here, now I'm going to put on some good camo. I think, yeah, DPM, this will be a good one. Woodland. Whoops. 95. This guy's not going to see me. I may only have one round left, but that's all I need. What? Oh, God. Oh, I got him in the shoulder, so I did hit him. I just gotta wait. You can kind of see where I got him. Right there. That's where I got him. There he goes. Alright, they're all done for. Alright, no kills, no alerts. We did good. Alright. We still need more ammo for this. Now, we could if we wanted to. If we want to try to get uh, lots of items and supplies. We could go back. But I don't know that it's a necessary risk. I'm, I'm looking at my... I have a little guide here in terms of stuff. I think it's best that we move forward. But I would love if I could get some um, rounds for my uh, MK-22. I don't know that there's going to be any out here, though. I think we're going to have to move forward. Alright. I could check on the rooftop, but... Whoa, whoa! A little close to the edge there. I know sometimes there's... You can see a lot of, like, birds from here. We won't worry about it. Quite a jump. Quite a flip. Alright, no enemies in this area. Don't have to worry about making noise, but there are going to be animals. And we get our introduction here to the milk snake right over here. Which, as I recall, snake does not find too tasty. Alright, hold on. That's enough out of you. I think this is another one. Okay. Um, we're going to have some fish here, some poison dart frogs. Um, thermal goggles, we got to watch out for the gavials. Oh boy. Got him. Alright, like I said, we're going for all all animals, all plants. White phosphorus grenade. Um, hold on. So a lot of times leeches, yeah. Leeches like to like to get you. 
in here. So the best thing to do about that is we can switch to the Pains camo. Hornet Strike. Allows wear to tame hornets. I'm quite sure it also uh, makes you immune to insects just in general. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill one of these one of these fishies. Let's not waste our uh, there it is. Let's not waste our um, suppressor. Fish Z, there we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and make some room. Let's eat our arowana. Whoa, look at that. Oh my god, is he gonna eat it like that? No way! I thought we'd get an animation of him making a fire or something. Jesus. Ew. What a fucking animal, man. I think he likes it. Oh, he did. Okay. Hot and frog, we'll throw that away. We're gonna keep the dart frog. Might be able to find a use for that. Um, I don't need... Let's eat the coral. Oh, there's two snakes. Coral snake and milk snake. Oh, okay. They look the same. They look very similar. We'll wait till we're... We'll wait till we're hungry. Snake, are you there? Eva? Did you... All right. Moving forward. So, there's a cool item you can get that's entirely optional, but very helpful, and also just kind of fun to have. If you go here, hit triangle, and now use R2 to shimmy across. And then get right above this rope here. And then we're going to do the classic drop hang from MGS2. We hit X and then jam triangle to catch. Or you just press it once if you can time it right. I always just kind of jammed it. Move this way. And right here, we get a crocodile cap. Go into our backpack. This should be under items. Croc cap. Now we got snakes sporting this. You can disguise yourself as a crocodile. It's pretty cool. Alright, we got some stun grenades. All we're gonna need is. Well, we're actually pretty good right now. Let's just not get eaten by a gator. It's kind of our, our goal at the moment. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Alright. Food is full. Let's eat something then. Let's try the coral snake. Hey, this works. Hmm. Okay. He just doesn't like the uh here, we already ate those. Let's save 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 some room. Alright. What do we have here? Chaff. I don't recall what chaff does in this game, since there are no security cameras. I'm sure it does something. I just don't remember what. Maybe we should ask Sigint. Because I really don't recall. First is the greeting. Yo, your snake. Hey, snake. Remember back at the abandoned fa All right, so that one. You have a few. You have a few mandatory ones first. Sounds like the. Yeah, then you have this one. Snake, you. S I think that's still one of the mandatory ones. You know that army. We got one of those too. The Davy. That one too. Um, that's a weird grenade. There you we got go. There. From what I can tell, it's an anti-electronics weapon that works by scattering a bunch of metal foil in the air to interfere with radio signals. Hmm. 
Call it a chaff grenade, if you will. By using a chaff grenade, you can disrupt the function of enemy radios and electronic devices for a short period of time. Hmm. But keep in mind that as long as the chaff is in effect, you won't be able to use your motion detector or active sonar either. I don't think I... E do I even have those in hard mode? Like when I'm looking through my backpack. I do... No. Hold on. Life medicine, fake death pill, revival cigar, uh, binoculars, thermal, camera, mind detector. I have that. I have that. Anti-personnel sensor, cardboard box, crocodile cap. But yeah, I, I think on hard mode, you don't get those. <laughs> so... Okay. All right, here's kind of a handy trick to know if anyone's ever playing this game for the first time or playing on a higher difficulty. Um, hold on, first things first. I see fruit. Some of these drop medical supplies, too. If you hit this, and you get hurt. What? Snake. Yeah. I'm going to get hurt twice. There we go. There we go. All right, now we're hurt twice. And now we're going to pause. We're going to go into Cure. Suffering from Deep Cut. So Suture, Bandage. Use this both times. We have a bunch of medical supplies. And then, um, if I'm on... Let's see. There's a few that, that increase the speed of your life recovery rate. I'm going to try the, mo the ends Moss Camo here. And I think my life will, will recover pretty quickly. That might only be in sunlight, though, believe it or not. As crazy as this game is. Uh, one thing I know, I think it might be Flectarn. Wearing it prevents battery drain DPM. Wearing it doubles life recovery rate. This might be a better one to use. But every time you heal from a serious injury in this game, you're, it extends your health bar. So this is really useful, especially when playing on higher difficulties. Now, of course, it's going to take more time. So if you're going for certain ranks that are time-restricted then it might not be the best move. But I'm going to let it heal just a little bit. Then I'm going to injure myself one more time. Then I'm going to heal up here while I take a quick coffee break. I think I have enough health right now where I can hurt myself intentionally one more time. But it is a, it's a useful tool in this game for extending your max health. So right now, walk right back into it. Go here. Cure. Same deal. Just make sure you have plenty of medical supplies. Get a little video here. Alright. Alright, so I'm not even going to pause it. I'm just going to lay Snake here and let him heal up. And I'm going to take a quick coffee break. And I'll be right back, and we'll play some more.
All right, I am back. Thank you guys for waiting. I appreciate it very much. I got a refill on my coffee. I was ate a little bit of chicken salad. And Snake's health has refilled. So, we're in good shape here. All right. We got coffee. We got everything we need. All right, let's try to blend into this area a little bit. Uh, woodland, definitely. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I thought I saw... Oh, okay. Some of these areas are a little deserty, A little earthy. We'll try animals. We'll see how this goes. This may or may not be a good... solution for this area. There is going to be a guard coming up. Drops considerably in green, which makes sense. I've got thermal goggles so I can see where all the mines are. I have a mine detector, but honestly, it just beeps when you're near them. You're better off just using... Either your eyes, or the thermal goggles. Alright, we have some guard dogs coming up. Alright, so, we're gonna put on our suppressor. Unfortunately, this does not count as a kill. I don't like doing it. But we have to. Alright, both guard dogs dead. Now, the noise will get the attention of one of the guards, and we'll be able to knock him out. Actually, we should probably save now that we're in here. When you're, when you're going for no kills, no alerts, it's wise to save at the beginning of each area. That way, if you fuck up, you can reload and start right at the beginning of that area, rather than having to replay a bunch of shit. But if you're, if you're kind of trekking along and you're playing well, it can be easy to forget. Alright, here we go. Uh, here, um, yep, MK-22. Oh, shit. Got him! Nice! I, I got him before he radioed in. If, if it had taken just a few more split seconds, you would hear the other guy on the radio being like, What's going on? Respond! There's something wrong, you know. Support unit, confirm their status. You'd go through all that. Thankfully, we managed to avoid that. I'm, I'm picking up all these claymores. I don't even care. Yes, that's what I wanted. Good. Those are good to have. Alright. Now, I still gotta be watching out. We, remember, we're trying to get every type of animal, every type of plant, every type of unique asset in this game. No kills, no alerts. And just for the hell of it, even though I don't have to, I like to try to get every weapon, every, every bonus item, everything I can. All right, hold on. That do doesn't really give me... I'm going to try tree bark. And I'm going to try... Woodland? All right, this will be good enough for now. 65% is pretty decent. There's probably a better one for here, but this will be, be good enough. Didn't mean to do that, but I already have... There's So there's a camo up up there, but I already have it. So this actually is okay, where I ended up. We'll keep going. And let's see if we can get a little more hidden here. We're pretty good. We're, this actually might be as good as it's going to get. So, maybe not. Alright, Spirit also will eliminate our footstep noises. That's always good. And we'll keep an eye out for guards. And for any animals we can see. What the? Hold on. This guy thinks he sees me. There's one. I must be secret. What's wrong? Shit. 
That's two. Put on a fresh suppressor. Oh god, I might whew, my camo index is through the roof right now. Um in a bad way. Let's put on spider. We'll just have to eat some food. Where is he? There we go. Nice. Alright, we did good. We dealt with it. Put animals back on. And give Snake a little snack. Milk Snake, I don't think he likes this one. Wow! That doesn't that barely does anything. Let's eat one of the gavials. What can I say? What can he what can he say? I haven't had I haven't had a Golova yet. Mm, delicious. Alright. So from here, I have to take care of the guard dog, unfortunately. Single bark means you did not kill him. There we go. That means he's dead. That horrible sound. Alright, where's this other guard? Here he is. There it is. Alright. That should be all of them. Now, we don't want to hit him in the fence. We're not trying to kill anyone. Caution mode is fine. Alerts are not. I'm going to try to pull this guy away from the fence. I don't know if it would kill him in one hit, but let's not find out. We can deactivate the fences by hitting these. They won't, they, you can see they won't show up anymore. Let's give this guy one more shake. All right, shaft grenade, sure. Shaft grenade. All right, another suppressor. Those are always good for this. Move up here. Give this guy a little shake. I didn't, didn't don't see too many animals out here. Those are always good. I hear them, but I don't see them. Whoa! Careful. That one. I think, although that one's just gonna be just gonna make noise. I think there's something here. Yeah, I think a, there's a, either a face paint or a camo in there, but I already have them all. There we go. Alright. Whoa! Someone there? Nope. I love the color palette of this area a lot. At least I didn't get his attention. Come on, there he is. Alright. Oh, took out his radio too. Nice. He'll fall over. Just your imagination. How long is this going to take? Hold on. Come on, buddy. I totally hit him with a dart. There he is. All right. All right, there's a guy right here. But he can't see me on my tiptoes. Handy trick. All right, every animal does include the rat. Every animal, every plant does does count the rat. Let's look at all what all we got. Let's eat the rat. You didn't hate it. Hold on. Let me see. I see a dude. Wow, 
By the way, it's probably going to be smart for me to make a save here. Whoops, not Major Zero. Snake, have you seen Earth versus the Spider? Nope. This dude right. Got him. Alright, let's put on AP sensor. Don't want anyone to see me. Oh! Almost forgot about him. Got him. And there's gonna be a dude way back there. There he is. Sweet. All right, I think that should be everyone in this area, but they won't be asleep forever, especially on hard. So we're going to have to gather our stuff quick. Here, got a bunch of weapons, TNT, grenades. Whoa, weird little stutter there. Some more ammo. Here, I believe, is medical supplies. Yep, bandages, life medicine, antidote. You can always blow these up with TNT if you want to rob the enemies of supplies. Put them in rougher shape. It's more of just kind of a neat detail than something that's super useful. Uh, let me, by the way, give this dude... This is my first guy I knocked out. Let me give him a fresh dart. Okay. Mouse trap, calorie mate, ration. If you're doing a first playthrough, there's also uh, the camo and, or face paint on the roof of this building. Mouse traps are useful. Alright, I'm gonna snag everything here real quick. Grab that, very good. What is this right here? Ye oh, well, it's full. Yeah, it's full. Don't need it. Alright. We'll go this way, and we'll move on. You can also man these with triangle if you don't want to. Whoop! Alright, we're doing well. Like the boss's info was right. Quick! Alright, here we get our first fight with Ocelot. We're gonna take off the suppressor. We're going for no kills. I like how they have like the uh, uh here on me this. <laughs> Gotta heal up a little. You fool! I've never felt the tension like this before. I could use life medicine, I'm not I'm not I do have two. That's so different than simply changing the clip. God 
Got him. Nice. Whew. I'm glad I didn't have to use life medicine. That was close, though. He put up a fight. Let's put that away. All right. Let's let Snake heal up a little bit. Although, nat we'll kind of heal up naturally by just, uh... All right. Let's put the chaff away. I don't even know why I had that out. Oh, because I was asking Sigint about it. Um, all right. Cigar. I need that until I get the torch. Um, camouflage. We're not Obviously, we don't need it in here, but I'm going to put on the Hornet. Outfit, and then this doesn't really matter. Uh, might as well just use Infinity, Infinity Face Paint. It doesn't matter if we use special items. We're going for the Mark Hor rank. So it's kind of best that we not... Alright, um, Reticulated Python. That's tasty. That's tasty, King Cobra. Alright. Grab. We have to make sure we're getting everything. Reticulated Python, let's dispose of them. Siberian ink cap. Not yet eaten. I want to eat the green tree python. Can't complain. Can't complain. Alright. All right, we'll let ourselves heal up a little bit. I don't like using the cigar because it drains your health, but we need to get that torch, which I think is in here. This part of this looks kind of crazy. All right. I hope we don't run out of oxygen. I do have an infinite oxygen face paint, I do remember. What's in here? I saw an item. Is it just a ration? It's just a ration, chilling here. Okay. Let's switch, by the way, to infinite O2. Is it brown? Yes. Alright, infinite oxygen. It'll only diminish in the same sense that your stamina will diminish. Took a wrong turn. We'll go and get that torch. Let me... I just want to make sure it's not a unique one. I'm trying to get every... Every animal. Frog A. Alright, um... Let's put... Let's use the cigar. Just to kind of light our way to the torch. This was not a good, a good way to go. Go this way. Here we go. This should be the torch right here. Good. Torch. Let's also get this mushroom. Alright. Let's see what we have here. Otten frog, maroon shark. Let's eat it. Okay. Otten frog was pretty tasty. We'll dispose. Let's eat the crab. Okay, he likes it. Alright, very good. Uh, so they count, they classify the torch as a weapon. Let's put away the cigar. And the mushroom we just got will actually, um, fill up your battery. Alright, no sense to do in doing that. We already have the crab. Uh, the 
torch will help us through here. No longer need the cigar. Yep, just want to make sure we're going the right way. Actually, I don't think we were, but this will work. Um, uh, let's see. Make sure we have that. I want to say that maybe they comment on the skeleton. I could be completely wrong about that. First, he'll be like, Snake, are you okay? Snake. Yeah. Kind of a mandatory one. The cave seems to be... Snake, those hornets that are... Okay. Snake, you're... All right. Maybe not. I thought maybe there was a call. in the crab battle. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna eat the Russian glow cap. I'm gonna charge my batteries. Hmm. I like that battery has recovered. He goes, hmm. Alright. Uh, let's, let's do away with the Russian ration. Don't need three of these. All right. We'll keep going. Pretty sure it's the same frog. But we want to make sure. We want to get everything. That is a big snake. Actually, I probably should... Well, I can wait for another one, but... Some of these I need to start caging. There's a trophy for poisoning. Um, for poisoning a enemy soldier with a snake. One will do. Only one bat necessary. Bug juice. Alrighty. All right. I think this will be a good, a good spot to save as well. Like I said, you, whoops. So far, no alerts, no kills. I believe that we. I don't think we've missed any animals. Skipping cutscenes and codec calls, but if anyone wants to hear any of them, just let me know. Alright. Next time I see... Here, let me actually call Paramedic and see if she'll comment on the, the new snake I have. You got some instant noodles, huh? Heard that one. I see you've caught a king cobra. Here we go. The king cobra is the world's largest venomous snake. Its large size means that it has a lot of venom <laughs> What's to up, Spiritual Mutant? You left the crank for rotating the wall. <laughs> Wrong game. And it's extremely vicious as well, so watch out. <laughs> That's good. If you get bitten by a King Cobra and injected with All right, venom, King Cobra. your life will start to decrease rapidly. It's good to know. As soon as you're bitten, go into the survival These are poisonous. and use Cure to give yourself a... That's what I wanted to know. I see you've caught yourself a Taiwanese Cobra. How about that one? The Taiwanese Cobra is native to Taiwan and southern China. Oh, it's nice. Quite vicious and carries a potent okay, they're both poisonous. Tank. This is good to know. Be careful. If it bites. I uh, yeah, I I always felt there was a lot of overlap in terms of fan community between Resident Evil and uh, Metal Gear. Um, no, oddly enough. Um, so I'm basically like, I'm not really happy with the quality of emulation of Metal Gear Solid One on here. I'm hoping that they um, improve. They, they've said that they're going to, but I, I, it looks really blurry, and uh, they need to. They don't use a proper scaling method. 
Uh, I could nerd out and say what they should do to make it look right, but um, and there, yeah, there's no reason why there there should be either slowdown or input delay as much as as there is. So I, I've been focusing on two and three, which aren't perfect, but at least the frame rate's locked. It's the HD edition. The loading time's really fast. Uh, I am going to beat this version. I'm just kind of hoping they patch it up a bit. Right now, it's in kind of rough shape. It's not using nearest neighbor scaling, which would look a lot better than the bilinear scaling they're using. It's blurry. Uh, it just doesn't look right. It doesn't scale properly. It just, uh, but yeah. Um, and uh, I actually do want to play these, too. I like Metal Gear 1 and 2. Um, but so I'm kind of waiting on this one a little bit, see if they improve it a bit. I'm kind of focusing on these on these two. Been doing some trophy hunting and stuff. I've already beaten 2 and 3. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I enjoy these games a lot. I like all three of them, really. I, I would actually say that 1, 2, and 3 are my favorite in the series. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna use my... I wanna have this... This dude in a cage. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I try. I, I'm pretty familiar with the... With, uh... 1, 2, and 3. Pretty familiar with, with the, uh... These games. Four is my overall least favorite for both like story and technical reasons. Um, five, I I like at least like its gameplay or at least aspects of its game feel. Um, but that's that game has its fair share of problems too. But one, two, and three, I really enjoy a lot. Um, <laughs> that's, yeah, I think a lot of people did that. I've done that in games before too. Not just not just this. I remember there being a Simpsons game. I think it was Virtual Bart where there's an area that's deliberately dark and you're supposed to follow some other kind of clue, I think. And I remember when I played it, I just turned the brightness on my old CRT up all the way so I could see to get through the area. It was either Virtual Bart, no, no it was Virtual Bart. I was gonna say it was either Virtual Bart or Bart's Nightmare, but it was, it was Virtual Bart. It was the dinosaur section in that game. And I remember just, like, it's an area where it's deliberately dark, and I think you're supposed to use some other kind of clue, or maybe there's, like, a flash that ha- I, I forget. But it was so damn dark and annoying that I just, uh, I had a- it was, it was an older CRT, too. It was one that had a literal- a literal knob. I didn't have to break out the remote and turn some setting up. It had a literal knob. And I just turned it up all the way, I remember that. I need to put away this damn cigar. I keep breaking it out because I needed it earlier. Yeah, if you can't find the torch, by the way, you can always use your cigar, which I'm done with, so I'm going to put away so I stop accidentally using it. Life medicine, I'm going to keep that out. Uh, is there anything else I want to have handy? Crockle cap I'll need in the next area. I'm going to use the bug juice. No, I can't do any kills. I don't need the torch anymore. Stun grenade. Regular grenade is useful for this next part. Uh, the, the shotgun is actually useful for this fight coming up. But I'm going to have to ultimately knock him out. Uh, I'm thinking. Do I have bug juice? I do. I'm going to use bug juice. I'm going to use... Um, I have the sneaking suit, right? Yeah. Cuts damage in half, I think. Reduce, uh, latest battle uniform developed by Soviet. Cuts all damage in half and reduces stamina consumption. Hell yeah. <clears throat> oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. I, I, I'm all, I, I love October and this season in general. I, I love autumn and October and Halloween. I get kind of fanatical about it. Can I punch bats? Oh, it bit me back. Hold on. Uh, let's, let's, I'm going to use a grenade and watch this go nuts. Look at this. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Bam, ba bam, bam, bam. All right, food full. All right, let's 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 take care of that. I'm keeping these. I'm going to be throwing the, one of those at an enemy soldier. Let's eat the, let's eat the bat. Disgusting. No, I didn't like that one. Uh, how do you feel about the Taiwanese Cobra? What can I say? Okay. We've eaten the frogs. Let's put those away. 
All right. All right, this is the pain right here. I feel like I should heal up a little bit. Even though it's time... I wish I could fast forward. This is not, unfortunately, a PS2 ROM. That I could just put... Uh, that I could just fast forward. But I am playing on hard mode. I do want to kind of let him heal up just a little bit. <sighs> All right. This is going to have to be good enough. I'm not going to wait all day. I'll slowly crawl in. Slowly crawl in. This game still has a really good art direction. And I think just overall, even though it's basic, even though it has like a kind of a basic lighting system, I just think it looks really good. I, I would like to see them patch this and increase the resolution and stuff. Let's see if I can get this before starting the fight. Ah, nope. All right, hold on. I'm gonna try. No kills, no alerts. I am gonna use bug juice. Hey, what's up, Vulcan? More like just random order. <laughs> I've been playing a little bit of each of them. I'm not doing full story playthroughs. I'm just going for um, some of the trophies and in-game unlocks. This is on PS5. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing on PlayStation 5. Um, you can see each one. Um, I, but basically, I'm just kind of doing some trophy hunting. I'm kind of, I'm waiting and I'm hoping to see if they patch MGS1. I'm not really happy with the uh, quality of, of the of the image quality of it. I'm hoping that they update it and give, give some better scaling options. It, it, I think it looks way too blurry right now. I did beat Ocelot, but I, I, I'm kind of just waiting on a patch for it. I've been playing more of 2 and 3. Uh, as you can see by the trope, by the percentages here. Um, and I also, at one point, I, I, I want to beat 1 and 2 again. I haven't beaten them in a long time. Or at least I haven't beaten 2 in a long time, I should say. But, yeah, I went with PS5. Hey. I always love the pain's theme. PC. Yeah, it, I think every version could use its fair share of patching for different reasons, and in some cases for the same reason. I hope they don't give up on it. Like, I hope that they don't patch it two times and say good enough. That's kind of my concern. That's kind of what happened with the Grand Theft Auto Definitive Trilogy, whatever they called it. They, they, they launched in a really rough state. And uh, obviously that was a pretty infamous launch. Then they started patching them, and they slowly started getting a lot better. And they got to a point where the frame rate was good, they had improved a lot of bugs, but it wasn't perfect. And then eventually they just stopped patching. I, I guess that Rockstar figured good enough. And... I, I have a feeling this will get some patches, and this will patch some of the issues. That they, but I just, I I also have a feeling that it will only go so far. Like I think that they're gonna, I think Konami, much like Rockstar, is gonna hit a eh, good enough point, which it sucks because I really love this series, and, and it deserves kind of a masterful. It's called Master Collection. Um, you know, it it deserves really good treatment. By the way. I should put on infinity face paint. Um, yeah. I get all the reasons why, and, and, but I'm just saying what makes it, like, kind of complicated oh is it's like, they actually, in spite, in spite of all the justified criticism, they actually were patching it first, and it got to a point where it's like, a, it was much better. But then they just kind of, like, were like, all right, good enough. I don't care. It's like, oh, it's like you guys could have kept going. <laughs> you guys could have kept going and really fixed all of this. Uh, I'm going to take some bug juice. Hey. 
Oh yeah. I don't I don't know how much interest Capcom has in doing that. I think that'd be cool if they put out like an OG trilogy. I think they're more interested in their RE engine remasters, for better or worse. I mean, I like those too. But in terms of getting like what you're asking for. I don't know how much interest Capcom has in putting that out. Hmm, that is true. Isn't Tomb Raider like uh, IDOS or something though? If it was Capcom, I might say you're onto something. Operation Raccoon City? Yeah, I, I think you can kiss that one goodbye. <laughs> so, I wouldn't be waiting on that one. <laughs> I never really liked this boss fight. I just think it's too obnoxious. Thank you. Oh, let's see here. Hold on. We got a subscriber. Controller Freak just subscribed to the archives. Thank you very much. Appreciate that a lot. Tommy, Tommy gun. I like how his bees can make a Tommy gun. It's pretty impressive. There we got him. Oh, that was a gifted sub. Uh, uh, gifted a tier one sub to Vulcan. Very nice. Thank you, Control Freak. I think I read that wrong as, as a... Yeah, no, it was a gift. I read it wrong. I had a I had a list of all the the animals and plants and crap in this game. Uh, let me let me kill some fish. I know that sounds mean, but I want to make sure I get them all. All right, let's uh let's take a look at our stuff here. Let's switch back to um. Let's switch back to. Yeah, we'll get, we're gonna put brown face paint on uniform. We can go ahead and switch back. We don't need this one right now. I, I love the hornet strike uniform. I just like the orange. I like the brown orange pattern. Um, let's also look at our food real quick. Let's eat some crabs. Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. Get, get rid of the bat. Um. Okay. I haven't eat. Oh, I don't want to eat the poor poison dart frog. I ain't falling for that one. Uh, I thought someone might crack that joke. Thankfully, I always managed to avoid that one. Welcome back, Brandon. Life medicine. All right, here we go. Swim, swim, swim. It is. Let's see if we can make it happen. I'm kind of using a guide, but I'm also kind of going by instinct. Same fish is. I just want to make sure. Can you think of any more future challenges? Oh, I could think of a lot of challenges. Camp Arwana. Oh man, it is warm outside. Like I know this is unseasonably warm. I think when I'm done streaming, I'm gonna mow my lawn because it needs it. All right, I think I got everything I can get. Let me pull up my list here of, uh, of stuff. All right, Taiwanese Cobra, yada yada. 
Well, that's how it was here until like this week, and then it decided to warm back up again. Always love the color palette in this game in a lot of different areas. This is before seventh generation when devs started saying, fuck color. People like all their games to look like puke. I want to have both a poison dart frog. Let's see what I have here. Okay, Reticulated Python and Giant Anaconda. I might leave that alone. D-medicine D in this, alright. We got rats. Quite sure this is the same frog I already have. Take a quick look here. Hmm. All right, we'll go ahead and dispose of some of these. You don't have to eat them actually for this challenge, but I just like to I like to have them all marked marked off as in terms of what Snake likes and doesn't like. Right, which I'm trying to remember which uh, snake these are. But I'm gonna I'm gonna cage them both. Cage full. Which snake is it? All right, let's take a look here under food. Let's get rid of one of... Well, I don't know. I think they're reticulated pythons. A bunch of bats in here. Hold on. Let me see if I can get a frame rate dip. I'm, I'm gonna try. To, I'm gonna try to cause a frame rate dip. Let's see if I can do it. Hold on. Let me try one more time. Try. Nope. Not at least not perceptible. was pretty tasty. Let's get rid of these bats. We don't need no bats. Alright. There's a visual glitch that's that was always an HD collection. I'm gonna see if I can time it right. If I dive right at the last second, I can kind of dive and clip through the wall. Let's try, let, me try, let me try to do it. I did, didn't time it right, but you'll see him, like, fall straight, whoop, down. It goes crazy. All right, um, there's what? There's a fish here that I need to get. Hold on. Oh, jeez. It's one of these fish. I can always come back later when these guys are gone. They'll be gone later. I'm going to put on the croc cap. I have the brown, and then I'm going to... If you do this... They have no idea you're here. Whoops. Whew, I, I kind of clicked the wrong button for a second there. Yeah, I saw the un there's a unique fish in this area, but I'll, I'll come back and get them later. That's it. Fish A. Oh! Hey, this works. Brands with the zingers today. Fish A. That's it. The big eye Trevally, whatever. Jaff. All right, we're gonna cut this way. All right. 
We haven't saved since beating the beating um, the pain. So let's make that happen. I want to save. Snake. I have never heard of the last war. Probably just cook soups, and eat bread, and get all fat and sassy. I don't know what made me think of that just now. I don't know what could have possibly. <laughs> Imagine if you're an actu actually like a guard and you see you see an enemy soldier walking through wearing this. Probably just cook some soups and eat bread and get all fat and sassy. HQ respond. HQ doesn't care what you have to say. You're not under any kind of fire. Yeah, that's right. It's all of them. Alright, I just want to make sure I got all the types of fish. Food full! Not for long. Big Eye Trevally. This is horrible. Oh, man. Come on, Snake. It can't be that bad. It's natural. Yeah, um, well, it, I don't have to figure, I, I, I've already seen it, um, basically you get a menu that you bring up to switch controller ports, but they actually, to be honest, of all the f shortcomings of MGS1 in this collection, in terms of its, like, quality, they did the Mantis thing pretty well, you actually make your own kind of PS1 memory card, and you can choose what games you want to add to it, so, you can get every memory you're reading that Psycho Mantis originally had from um, Symphony of the Night to Suikoden to whatever whatever games he commented on. You can choose which ones you want to add to sort of your fake memory card. It's pretty cool. Uh, including the classic PS1 icons. Boink. So, all of that stuff, I think, they handled as, as well as they could have. It's, I, it, you know, it's never going to be quite the same as being like a, you know, a kid or whatever in 98, switching the controller port literally, physically on the system for the first time. But given, you know, what they can do and can't do, I think they handled that in the best possible way by sort of letting you create a virtual memory card and choosing what, what games you want on there for Mantis to read or not read. And then, um, just having a button, having a menu that you can pop up to switch controller ports. There's kind of no other way to do it. So they did good on that front, as far as I'm concerned. Just kicked a frog. Alright. Tree frog! Tasted bad. How does the blue tarantula taste? Sick. Uh, not, not very good. A <laughs> tree frog. Tasted bad. Alright, here we go. Ponizovje South. I don't speak Russian. Go ahead and skip this. You can kill. You can kill uh, the end early here if you're so motivated. There he is. If you have a sniper rifle, you can kill him right now. You want to fight him later. Yeah, I uh, I think that would be cool too, Brandon. I've thought about that. Uh, or if it did both. But I think the solution they came up with is probably the best they could do. Like you said. 
I do agree. That would have been cool, though. Snake, have you ever seen On the Beach? On the Beach? No. I don't remember that one. It's about the survivors of the Third World War. Hey, there were only two. The hemisphere is obliterated in a nuclear holocaust. And it's only a matter of time before the few survivors left in the southern hemisphere are poisoned by the deadly fallout. Their only hope is an American nuclear submarine that escapes to the southern hemisphere. They set out for the Arctic to investigate the fallout. The movie came out in 59, and the year that the war was supposed to happen was 1964. In other words, this year. Nice warning. Let's hope it stays just a movie. That's up to you, Snake. That's up to you. Just my imagination. All right, got them all. I think I remember hearing about that. I wasn't sure if it was ever true, but I do remember that hearing that story. Night vision goggles. You can actually get these earlier, I think. I just always forget the first place where they're located, if I'm remembering correctly. I think you do have a shot to get the night vision goggles earlier in the game. I just always forget where. Greedy for more items, like the Deep's family's fish. Remember the fish of the Deeps. Alright, let's go ahead and switch up our gear. Alright, this will probably be our best indoor outfit. All right. Uh, I'm here. I'm definitely gonna do a save here. Saving the game? Yes, I am. Snake. Hey. Have you ever seen the War of the Worlds? No. These flying saucers from Mars arrive on Earth disguised as meteorites. The saucers use their heat rays to attack the nearby towns, and then, um, something wrong. Uh, the thing is, I was too scared to watch. I had my eyes shut almost the whole time. Then you haven't seen it. No, it's not that. It's based on a novel by H.G. Wells. You haven't seen it, have you? That does remind me, though. When I was two years old, my father listened to the radio drama version of the story. It was right after dinner on Sunday, and we were relaxing in the living room. They said monsters had come out of a meteorite that landed in New Jersey. It sounded just like a real live news broadcast. My father said he and my older brother actually believed it and started yelling and panicking. My mother supposedly grabbed me from my crib and took me out to the car, still wrapped up in blankets. <laughs> but then, just as my dad was about to start the car, he realized that it was all just a radio drama. Because on the car's radio, they were playing Bing Crosby tunes. No matter what station he turned to, no one else seemed to be reporting on this big history-making news story. Sounds like something out of the big broadcast. Nobody said a word. We all went back to our rooms. My father and brother got off with a scolding from my mother, but I was the one who really suffered. After that incident, every time I acted up, my father and brother would scare me by saying, The Martians are coming! That's terrible. <laughs> Isn't it, though? So, you haven't seen the movie. I... I saw it. So, so even nuclear weapons wouldn't work against the Martian war machines. Uh huh. Anyway, Snake, if you conceal yourself like the Martians did, the enemy won't know what hit them. Conceal myself? Maybe not in a meteorite, but if you can hide yourself mm. inside something a little more close at hand. Box. Mm -hmm. Close at hand. 
something like hey. a box. Ah, uh, I get it. So, you never saw the movie. I saw it, all right? There it is. I wonder if that's a true story. Like, if the, like if that's just from this game, or if that was actually something that was reported on and a lot of people thought it was fucking real. I'm gonna puke. Like, I'd like to look up the actual history of, like, did that fucking happen? Alright, hold on. Let me be careful here. I'm gonna use this camera angle. Classic camera angle sometimes does come in handy. Um... All right, backpack. There's a trophy I'm trying to get. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to reload this because this might kill the enemy. Um, okay, giant anaconda. I'm gonna break them both out. And there's a trophy I'm going for. Damn it! Oh God! It's not what I meant to do at all. Poor snake. And I. Whoa. That sound effect is way off. All right, hold on. Here we go. What's that sound? Get him! Get him! Bite him! What the? Ow! All right, you know what? I'm gonna try this again. Giant anaconda. There's nothing here. God damn it. I keep fucking this up. They killed it. Monsters. I think I can throw it literally on them. I just don't want them to spot me. I'm going to temporarily put on spider camo. Okay. What was that? God damn. What a bunch of assholes. How am I supposed to pull this off? Huh. Maybe I'm supposed to, like, throw it... I think I have to throw it behind them and maybe not alert them, but it seems like it always they always hear it. it seems like they always hear it. It's one of the few kind of, like, quote-unquote easy trophies I don't have. It's just... Get a snake to bite a guard. Seems so simple. Reticulated python. I don't know that that one will poison them. I wonder if I can do it when they're knocked out. I'm tempted to reload the save Nothing real quick. Here. Tempted. I think I'm gonna try it. Who's that? Ow. Ow, jeez, dude. Try it again. You try that again. Come on. Ow. Dude's got a shotgun. Ooh. Oh no! I'm gonna try to reload this one more time and just see what I can do. Like, one thing I wonder, snake is dead, we have to exit. Here, oh, here's another change I'd like to see. Konami, I know you're lurking here. Let me skip all of this, once I've seen it one time. I don't need, don't, don't make me sit on the Konami logo for five, five seconds. Don't make me sit on the Kojima Productions logo for five seconds. Don't make me sit on the Blue Point Games logo for five seconds. Okay. You let me skip that. You let me skip everything else. Let me skip the, the fucking logos. So that I can load my game in peace. That's all I ask. Alright, 
let's see here. I'm wondering. I'm gonna quickly check my food. Eat my tree frog. Disgusting. All right. Uh. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna put on spider. And now that I'm put on spider, I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna knock this fool out. This other guy will see him. What about the other guy? There he is. Nice! It's a good shot. Alright, now they're all knocked out. Let's put Splitter back on. I don't know if this is going to work. But it might. Let's eat our maroon shark. It's dead, so let's eat it. All right. So, now. There's also a face paint over here for anyone playing the first time. Now, Josh says I need something maybe just a little more venomous. How about throwing it in his face? Huh? Huh? Josh is like, that's not quite what I had in mind. Get him! Get him. Yeah, come on, get him. You know you wanna. I don't know if I'll bite him when he's asleep. Alright, hold on. see me maybe there's two snakes maybe they'll get maybe one of them will get them what the? oh there's nothing here bastards Well, I still haven't killed anyone. Think, huh? <laughs> I know I fucked up. It's just funny. They like bumped into each other on the stairs. It's a good way to get a suppressor right here. To reload this one. It's too bad. Yeah, they, they, there are some messed up, like, delayed sound effects. I hadn't noticed until this area. Do, does a soft reset still work with this? Like, um... No, let me try. Hold on, let me try a few things. I don't think it does. Options return to title screen. 
Okay, that's still okay. I just wish you wouldn't have to skip past the stupid logos. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Well, there is this, but it's not any. It's really not any faster. You do have that from the options menu, but it just it's dumb that it doesn't. It it should restart you here. This is where like like restart to title screen should take you either here or right here. Because you've already seen the Konami logos. It's just, ah, it's annoying. It did this in Snake Eater. It did it in Subsistence. It did it in HD Edition. Now it's doing it in Master Collection. It's annoying. And I don't like it. All right, I guess I'm not going to get the Snake one right now. I'll get that eventually. Ah! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Ow! This is a mean dude. My, my boy's got a shotgun. All right, they're stunned. They're not. I, I'm just gonna try again because, I, like I said, I'm trying to get this stupid trophy. I don't know if Anaconda. Let's try with all. Oh, gotta unequip something. Let's unequip the shotgun. I might not have the right kind of snake. If I kind of walk over and piss him off. If I can just get one of these snakes to get pissed off and bite one of these dudes to get a trophy, then I can restart this game in peace. Ow! Whoa! Bite him. Constrict him. Poison him. Do something. Man, I didn't mean to kill them both with one little kick. Nah. Bah humbug. Yeah, so the fastest way is just go to options. Return to title screen. But it's just, this should take you right back. It's just dumb. It's just dumb. And then rigid, stupid Konami is like, just poured it over the, the, the blue point HD collection code. Just like, whoosh, like, like splashing a bucket of paint or something. It's, it's like, nope, it's got to be exactly the same. Oi, oi, oi. They even changed the logo on the title screen. Look at, or I mean, the, the date. Now look at solid HD edition, 2011. Doesn't say like 2011, comma 2023. Like you like you would see with a lot of games. Not, I mean, who cares? But I'm just saying, like, it kind of just goes to show that, uh, they just like here throw throw the games on there and we'll fix a couple things. I don't give a shit. Put it out. Eh, I don't know about that. A PS2 emulated version with HD. I mean, that's what this is. That's basically what this is. Uh, but if they kept it as the original PlayStation 2 version, um, it would be 4x3, it would be 30 FPS. I mean, they, it made more sense to use the Blue Point, you know, source code. I just wish they had improved upon that Blue Point source code. Um... Instead of just like just taking it and leaving it as is, and it would be it would have been much easier and better for them to just take this version that already has all this work done into it and just improve it. And just kind of manually go through. There's been plenty of documentation on, on from fans and and forums and from all the problems that exist in this version. It's not like there's no shortage of data on that. Um. But I also think it would be cool for a master collection. You know how they have multiple versions like MGS1? 
I do think it would be cool if they had an option to, like, play kind of the PS2 original as it was then, sort of like the way that they're doing with the MG with MGS1, only just with a better scaling method and kind of just have that as an option, like just the original version as it was then. That would be neat. Especially if it came with the exclusive extras. Like, you know, Snake vs. Monkey, and Dual Mode, and Secret Theater, whatever it's called. There, I got him twice. He should be going down. There he is. Alright, haven't killed anyone. Still, still working on that uh, trophy for trying to... You know... Trying to uh, poison a dude with a snake. Harder than I thought it would be. I haven't done it in forever. Right. Please come again. Oh, new follow. Thank you very much for joining the archive. Appreciate it. We got a mouse trap. Hop on down. <clears throat> For those of you who don't know, another thing you can do, I like to be very careful when I do it, not to, because I can actually hurt someone, I'm trying to do a deathless playthrough. You can take TNT and blow up any of these storage rooms. And if you blow up food, enemies will be hungry. If you blow up weapons, they'll be low on ammunition. If you blow up anything that they need, medical supplies, they won't have them, etc. Now for this playthrough, I'm trying to be very careful not to get any alerts, not to get any kills. Using TNT near an enemy, you can accidentally kill them. Believe it or not, it's dangerous. Uh, but you can do that. It is kind of neat. Alright. There's going to be some unique animals in this area. We got some snakes. Snakes I'm going to try to catch. Here, I can go ahead and take the suppressor off. There it is. Cage full... Uh, what do we have here? Let's throw... Let's dispose of one of the... Snake F. So we have three different types of snakes. A large green snake. Not venomous. The reticulated python is not venomous. Giant anaconda. Not venomous. So, uh, okay. This, that's probably why it wasn't working. Josh did try to warn me. Well, I guess I should eat them then. <laughs> Man, Snake. Snake goes, this tastes great. All right, poison, poison dart frogs do not work. I have tried that. Oh, hold on. Still needed to get the magpie. Still need to get every mushroom. Don't have this one yet. Okay. Dirty magazine. Alrighty. Um, let's. I'm just gonna try doing this on every snake. Can't tell what it is until I. Whoop. Yeah. I think... <laughs> Gotta get the bunny rabbit. Bunny rabbit also gives you serum. Yep. Oh, food full. Hold on. We gotta pick him up. This one will make you either sick... Or I think this one will make you sick. Let's eat the magpie. Gross. Let's throw one of them away. Are they all snakey? I know there's going to be flying squirrels in this area. And I'm going to have to have one of those. But I'm going to have to see one. Now watch out for traps. There's a lot out here. 
All right. Don't know if this is going to be easier with or without the thermal goggles. Let me look through my stuff real quick. For right now, I don't need the shotgun. I don't need the grenade. Well, I mean, actually, throwing the, around the grenade could actually help with the infinite face paint. Stun grenade, white phosphorus grenade. For, that actually might be helpful here. Eventually, I'll have to get the Suchinoko here, but not yet. AP sensor. I don't need the crocodile cap or the bug juice anymore. Uh, let's throw away articulated python, not venomous. If they're not venomous, let's just dispose of them. Articulated python, dispose. Poison dart frog. This won't work. This uh, You can't do it with that. Um, all right. King Cobra is dead. So I can't do that. Its bite can kill even an elephant. Jesus Christ. Well, that won't do me any good with it being dead. Let's eat the rabbit. Hey, this works. All right. Do I see? No. Okay. Well, oh, there he is. Flying squirrel. Do you see it? I'm going to try to sneak. I don't know if he just is going to randomly fly around. I totally saw There he is. God damn it. There he is. I got him. Nice. All right, I knew about that one. Uh, let me look through my list here. Okay. We're going to have a unique bird coming up in the next area. All right, I just wanted to make sure that I got that. I knew there was a flying squirrel here. I already have most of this stuff. Also, you can uh, sometimes get a conversation about the scientists. These are these are science. These are Soviet scientists trying to escape. Snake, snake, watch out! It seems that forest is rigged with a number of traps. Most of the traps seem to be triggered by tripping a rope stretched across the ground. Don't just run around like a fool. Keep an eye on the ground and watch where you step. Some ropes may hey, what's be placed up, Cass? so they're hidden in the vegetation. Be extra careful when you're cutting through the underbrush. If you use the directional buttons to move around stalking, you should be able to spot the traps before you step on them. Use stalking to move safely through suspicious-looking areas. Major, do you know? See if I can get a call. Snake, let's... No, 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 no. Snake, remember. Well. You know, it all kind of depends. Um, I've gone through it here and there. Obviously, you know, they released it for everything. Um, you know, you get the classics Metal Gear 1 and 2. They're emulated well. Metal Gear Solid 1 is not emulated super well. It looks kind of blurry, but it's the Metal Gear Solid 1 that you remember. 2 and 3 are just the Blue Point HD editions. They're not much different. They load faster. They lock to their frame rate target. But other than that, they're, this, they're still 720p. Which, you know, for most people, if, they're, if you're getting it on PS5 or Series X or Steam, you kind of expect a little better than that. You know, they, they come with all the VR missions and most of the bonus extras and stuff. It kind of is ultimately just going to depend on if you think it's worth 60 bucks. I think it's kind of a mixed bag. Uh, they have announced that there's going to be some patches, but how much will they patch remains to be seen. It's not a total disaster, but... It's not like a slam dunk, like a like it's not an amazing job either. And that's kind of the gist of what you'll probably hear from most people. Well, hold on, let me let me camo up here. If you played the HD edition on PS3 or 360, it's basically the same experience. 
It's going to have faster loading times. It's going to run a little smoother. Even the trophy lists are basically the same. You managed to find it for 40 bucks. I think for 40 bucks is a good deal. One of the best things about it has just been that for all the in general this series has kind of been um locked to specific consoles for a very long time unless you're playing them in specific ways through backwards compatibility. And if you're, if you, in the past, if you've been an Xbox or a Switch owner, you haven't had access to all these games. You know, and so I, I do like that, you know, this, this has finally gotten a more, a broader release. PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series X, Steam, Switch. You know, it's no, it's no longer so kind of limited. But... That said, they didn't go above and beyond. <laughs> what? Shit! Didn't mean to do that. I hear birds. I want to make sure I get that one bird. Yeah, I totally didn't mean to do that. Oh, there it was. That bastard. Here, I'm going to load this area back in. I totally got shocked. All right, hold on. I'm going to shoot this bird. There it is. I might have two now. No, nope, just one. Okay. Taste unknown, but said to be edible. All right, Brandon, you go take care of your stuff. Pretty tasty. I do know the drill. Oh, Brandon, look at the Japanese flying squirrel. How can you look at this flying squirrel and say that you want to leave? Hmm? Hmm? He is cute. All right, dude's still knocked out. Let's get let's 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 get moving here. Low. I I, I kind of like the. I'll admit, I kind of like the charm of these low poly animals. Milk snake. Whoops. Highly aggressive. Carries a. Potent Euro. Let's try to poison. Let's try to poison a fool. I'm gonna try to move in the next area and poison a dude. That's, that's like the. It's one of the few like easy bronze trophies that I'm missing. I just haven't gotten it to to work yet. All right. There's a bunch of different ways you can enter this area. What do we have here. Pressers are good. I'm going in through here. I'm going to poison some fools. All right. I'm going to save here. I've not take I've not had an alert. I have not killed anything. I have not seen a fistful of dollars. I actually haven't. So a lot of people say I should. Uh, let's let me try to poison this dude. I've got a fresh save. Taiwanese cobra. All right, let's mess this dude up. Shit, I kind of meant to. What was that noise? I kind of meant to chuck it at his face. Get him, boy. Get him. Get him. Yeah, get him. No! I can never do it. All 
All right, hold on. What's wrong? I'm going to show you what's wrong. What's wrong is that... Oh, it's dead. I've got one in a cage. Reload. Ah, uh, not so fast. Not so fast, buddy. I wonder if I knock him out first. I wonder if I knock him out first. Like, not kill. Like, like... Hold on. There's two other dudes. I'm gonna shoot one in the back. I'm gonna shoot one in the chest. Alright, now... I'm gonna kinda... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. I'm gonna get down low. I'm gonna get hidden pretty well. I might be at the best I can get. Moss. Ha 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 ha! Hundred percent. You can't beat a hundred percent. What's wrong? What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. I'll tell you what's wrong. <laughs> yeah! Oh. Got it. He's dead. I, I I will have to reload because he's dead now. I, his gun disappeared. When they when their gun flashes and disappears, they're dead. He was poisoned, and I knocked him out. At least he died peacefully in his sleep. Although I don't know if I could say peacefully. He was bit by a giant poisonous snake and then slammed on his head unconscious. Eh, could have been worse. <laughs> Alright, now it's a reload. Alright. Can't have any kills this playthrough. No kills, no alerts. But I got the trophy. Man! <laughs> Josh, did you see that? <laughs> I do love this game. <laughs> There we go. All righty. All right. We'll use our hush puppy to hush these puppies. There we go. Those are two good shots. Whoa. Camera. A little crazy camera. All right. Does it have any trophies for MGS1? It does, but they're really limited, which is kind of annoying because I don't know if you're familiar with retro achievements. Um, like, a lot of retro games here. This is, there's this site that I use, Retro Achievements. And it has retro achievements for old school games. And um, for like MGS1, there's tons of them, and they're really good. They're really interesting, really fun, unique codec calls, a lot of challenges, good shit. For MGS1, it's really limited. It's just beat Ocelot, beat the tank, you know, beat the ninja. It's just beat each boss, and then complete a VR mission, read the screenplay, basically get both endings. The only This is kind of the only interesting one, really, is obtain Fox or Big Boss codename, or, and complete all VR missions. There's definitely some challenge there. And and get a ghost photo. I mean that one that one's kind of neat. But I mean, there's so much more they could have done. It, each of these is just beat. It's just basically beat each boss, beat the game, beat Liquid Snake, beat a VR mission, read the screenplay. This is where it could have just been like full of like interesting stuff. They did a better job with two and three, but even with two and three, they're just recycled from the Blue Point HD edition. They're the same ones. It would have been cool to see some new stuff. And this kind of ties into the sort of laziness. Even the icons are the same. These are the same icons from 2011. You know. Um, so, here are the ones I'm missing right now. Discover all first-person views that are not indicated by the button icon. I have a list of these. These don't start until late into the game. Uh, find all 64 keratins. I'm going to have to do that on its own playthrough with a, with a guide. Uh, collect every type of mushroom, every type of bird... I think the one bird that I typically miss is the Inn's Parrot. So we got the Flying Squirrel, we got a bunch of others. I've collected every type of snake. There's the final three at the, the last boss fight. 
By getting every plant and every animal, that will get me the title of Markor. Obtain the stealth camo, you can do this one of two ways. Either shooting every frog, or beating the game without being spotted. I'm going for the latter. Finish the game without killing any anyone, I'm going for that one. Clear the game without entering alert mode, I'm going for this one too. And earn the title of Foxhound. That's a tough one. There's a, I think you might have to even do it on extreme. I'll have to look up the criteria. But, see what all I gotta do, but... Definitely going for a bunch this playthrough. Two, same ones from Blue Point HD Edition. They're not bad. Some of them are, are funny. It, you know, um, it's a little bit more... It's better than MGS1. Um, I gotta get first place in 50 different VR missions. Get the stealth suit, wig, plant stealth suit. No alerts, title of Big Boss. Is this my first playthrough on... Oh, on the collection. So definitely not total and no. Uh, I've beaten two and three since Master Collection launched. So I've beaten these two. This is a new game plus that I'm doing on 3 right now. I haven't played 1. I'm kind of hoping that they're going to patch it and improve the image quality a little bit. So I'm kind of waiting on this one a little bit. Um, and then they, they did add them for 1 and 2. But this is kind of... And I know that they're older games. But if you look on like retro achievements, you can see that there's tons of achievements for these. Here, it's start... Let's, let's take Metal Gear 1. Start Metal Gear. Destroy Metal Gear. So that's the very end of the game. Destroy Big Boss. Beat the game. That's it. For Metal Gear 1. And complete boss survival. That's it for Metal Gear 1. 2 is the same way. Like, play Metal Gear 2. Beat Gray Fox. Basic stuff. Beat Metal Gear 2. Very short. Very short. Uh, I, I wish that there had been a little more effort in, uh, into really all of this. From trophy lists to... You know, to the, the overall quality. It's not all bad. I, I, I've said before, you will see some channels and some streamers like only focusing purely on the negative. Like... We, we at least do have Metal Gear now on, like, every platform. Uh, if you're getting them on a more modern system or Steam, you've got good frame rates, good loading, fast loading times, but... And they at least do all have trophies and achievements, so that's good. Uh, they fix some bugs and glitches, though there do seem to be some new ones. But, you know, it's just, in my opinion, sort of a mixed bag kind of thing. You, you, you hope for more. And I think that in general, it's not just Konami. I think in general, although they, they don't have the best reputation, but I think when companies kind of put out collections, they're often kind of hit or miss, you know? And it seems like with this one, they were like, well, Blue Point already did two and three, so we'll just dump that over. Uh, we'll throw one on a, we'll throw a, a, a ISO of one on an emulator, and, uh, we'll, we'll slap those, uh, Metal Gear ROMs that we had from the, from subsistence, and, uh, kind of keep it all the same, and, and we'll call it a day. It's kind of, uh, what they did for, and, you know. But I think if you... If you got it for 40 bucks, I think that's a pretty decent value. You do get a lot of bonus extras. And that, that is one thing I'll definitely say about it. You do get a lot of, like, uh, screenplay books and, and books with a lot of kind of bonuses, some digital soundtrack stuff. Um, you know, there are definitely some bonus features for, for sure. Uh, let me save in here now that I've got everything good. And, like, for example, on HD Edition, it used to be that, like, loading up the codec screen took kind of a long time, and loading up a call, now I it's just instant. disguised as a scientist. It suits you rather nicely. As long as you don't do anything suspicious, like roll. So, it's definitely not all bad. I think one of the best things about it is that it will have a lot of people playing Metal Gear again, many of which for the first time. And I think that's awesome. I'm trying to sneak up on this fool.
babe here. Uh, Mami Yamasaki. Not sure if I'm saying her name right. Ointment. You always want to check scientists for medical supplies. Because if you're playing on higher difficulties, medical supply is... Uh, getting injured is a good way to extend your health bar. Single action army. What's he doing out here? He's like, I was about to ask you the same thing. I'm just doing my job. Whoop. All right. By the way, if you ever fight the end in this game, the sniper boss fight, and if he ever, if, you, if he ever knocks you unconscious, you wake up in here. trap. Uh, Haruna Yabuki. Alright. Let's crawl around here. I always thought the cell with the life medicine should have been locked. Like, I think that... Like, I think if I go into the next one, it's locked, but there's no item in it. I think that would have been kind of a better way to do it. I think you crawl through to get the item. See here, this one's locked. There's no item. Stinky toilet. Check our food. I've had enough. You don't want any more milk snake? Alright, I don't want this dude to see me crawling. Oh my! Empress Inc. is raiding with a party of 14. Empress, how are you doing? What's up, chat? How is everyone? I hope you're all well. Progress saved. It's an Empress Inc. raid. Very nice. It's good to see you guys. Thank I you. I suppose I should thank you. Oh, I suppose I should thank you. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. What were you playing, Empress? Let me make sure that we give you a shout out. Shout out, Empress Inc. There it is. I think I got that right. There we go. Parasite Eve 2. Very nice. Beat Disc 1. Awesome. I hope you are all doing really well. Thank you so much for that raid. I'm taking a Resident Evil break to play Metal Gear Solid Master Collection. And right now we're playing Metal Gear Solid 3 where I'm going for some trophies for beating the game with no kills, no alerts, and getting every type of plant and animal that I can. So we're kind of going for some of the trophies, some of the bonus extras. Grabbing some calorie mates. Some ramen noodles. Yeah. Yeah, there's an irony to it that October rolls around. And I'm like, ooh, let's put away Resident Evil and play Metal Gear. All right. I've got Snake right now, our hero disguised as a scientist. Look, he's even got the... Huh? I don't think anyone would, uh... It was in your best interest Oh, we to got a new follow. Me. Thank you very much for following. I appreciate it a lot. I got a dirty book. Dirty magazine. That's what they call it, the book. You can set it down and attract the attention of guards. Here, let me try to... Let's, let's break it out. A lot of crazy stuff you can do in these games. Book. Oh, can, I can't do it as a scientist? I would think it would still let me use that, but I guess not. Let's look around a little bit. See what all we can find. These games are quite a lot of fun. Very story driven. Um, oh, like that, like that emoji. AK-47's full. Nice. Big boss salute. 
Yes, here. This is, this is how I salute you back. Hold on. There you go. Alright, anyone out, or anything out on this balcony? Let's find out. Alright. No, but we can do pull-ups. Let's get my workout in. Ugh. One more. Ugh. All right. We're good. Bathroom, nothing in there. What do we have here? Suppressor. It's good. We got some Metal Gear magazines. Look at this. Gamer magazine. Metal Gear Solid. And these are real magazines, by the way. So there was actually a gamer magazine. If you can believe it. Some of this art, by the way, is from the Silent Hill series. Some of the paintings on the wall. They're very low res, because they're based on... Um, they were from a, the PS2 original. I don't think they're touched up much, at all, if at all. But some of these are from the Silent Hill games. Whoa! There's a dude standing, like, right there. No need to kick the door in, man. I'm just a scientist. Just doing my part to help out. Oh, God. That's kind of close. Alright, um... I don't want to grab their attention. I don't want to grab their attention. Uh, we'll go the long way. We'll go the long way. I If I, if I could... Because I'm going for no alerts. So I could have been crazy and jumped off. I'm gonna, alright, I'm gonna be running a little risk here. Hopefully that scientist is still asleep. He didn't see me. That's good. That's good. Okay. Alright, we're moving on. This next area is pretty infamously tough, depending on how you play it. We have had no kills and no alerts yet. I don't plan on stopping now. Let's get a save going. That is one thing I'm not restricted on, is amount of saves. I have cleared this once. This is a new game plus. Snake, have you ever seen Jason and the Argonauts? I can't say I have. It's based on Greek mythology. There's this ship called the Argo, and it sets sail in search of the Golden Fleece. Along the way, it encounters many dangers. They run into all kinds of monsters, like bronze giants and the deadly seven-headed hydra and the vicious bird-like harpies. The most spectacular part of all was the battle scene with an army of skeletons. It was like they were actually standing up and fighting. Are you serious? If you don't believe me, go see it for yourself. Then you'll understand the magic of movies. It was totally amazing. Yeah, all right. If I make it back alive, I'll go see it. It just came out, so I'm sure it'll still be playing. All right. Every time you call in to save your game with her, she tells you about a movie. All right, got to be careful with the guards. Here. All right, cigarette gas spray. This is one of the most useful items in the game. By the way, we have more Electronic Gaming Monthly. We have their uh, issue on Metal Gear Solid 3. Not sure what this is. Game Informer. I remember that issue. Oh my god. That's funny. Alright, let's go into his backpack and we get out the cigar gas spray. This is very useful. Don't know if I. I have 15. You can go. It's great. Nice! I got them both. Holy crap. Yeah, that was cool. Knockout handkerchief's good, too. Is this a Silent Hill thing? I'm not sure. There's a bunch of, like, Silent Hill stuff in this area. Alright, stun grenades are full. We're gonna put this guy away here. We'll give this guy a little shake here. What were they watching? Ration, eh? 
Alright, medicine. It's good. Alright, put him away. Oh, you can knock him open. That's awesome. Here's the Game Informer. I remember this issue. If you guys ever had Game Informer, this was totally an issue. Stay with me! Oh, we got a new follow. Thank you very much for the following. I appreciate it. Yep, I remember seeing all this. Looked a little clearer, though. But still pretty neat for PS2. I love the scientist. He's like, huh? And then he just goes, huh? Eh. What are you gonna do? Is that all of them? Oh, yeah. I, I love that. He's just like, eh. eh. Whatever. Battery. Those are good. Give this guy a little shake. Scientists will often have medical supplies. Those really come in handy. Like I said, especially on higher difficulties. They help extend your health bar when you get seriously injured. You always want to shake them. You want to shake the ointment out of them. Alright, rations. Let's eat the flying squirrel. He is cute, though. Look at him. That is a cute-ass squirrel. Oh, he didn't like it. He didn't like it. Sorry about that, Snake. Alright, what outfit, what crazy outfit do I want to wear going in here? Hold on, we're getting ready to talk to this Soviet Union dude. Hmm, maybe I should dress up. So they, they don't have an American camo, do they? Like a super Amer- they don't have like America- Okay, we have a tuxedo, but that takes off the face. Let's go in the tuxedo. Sounds good to me. All right. Going James Bond. We get a portrait of Huey Emmerich. Otacon's dad in here. If you're looking for I love how he's just chilling. He's not here anymore. <laughs> Put that thing away. We've got a model from Zone of the drink. Enders right here. Oh, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. <laughs> he's like, no manners. You didn't knock. <sighs> and who are you? You mean you've never heard of me? Yeah, there's you a picture of Huey agent. and, uh, with Granin. Very well, then. Some of the Enders model. I am Alexander Leonovich Granin. A man of some importance, if I do say so myself. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. Since the Great Patriotic War... I anyway, we're not doing a story playthrough, so we're going to go ahead and skip this. Hey! There's another picture of uh, Huey right there. You pass through a so he's gonna give me a key. Why are you helping me? Unlike. So that guy, Granin, is the one who actually invented Metal Gear. They rejected his plan for this game being a prequel. Snake, have you seen Doctor Strange Love or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb? What? Dr. Strangelove. Have you seen it? Uh, no. It's about this insane American Air Force commander who sends a bomber out to drop an H-bomb on Russia. It's a black comedy. Doesn't sound very funny to me. 
The actor who plays Dr. Strangelove also plays two of the other main characters. It's actually kind of funny once you get past the scary parts. It just came out this year, so I bet you could still go and see it. Maybe when I'm in a lighter state of mind, I'll give it a try. Alright. We gotta save. I'm gonna see if I can... There's gonna be a scientist here just, just waiting for me. Spirit will eliminate footstep noises. That might be a good way to go if I want to try to knock him out quick. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try to knock this dude out. As fast as I can. No! No! Ah, I gotta restart. But, in the meantime, we can have fun. Before I restart. We can run around with the shotgun. Hold on. Alright, let's go nuts. Boom! Yeah! Let's go ham. Whoa, who shot me? You. Oh, I that. Yeah. But you. Nope. So. Who's next? Shoot the TV. Don't care anymore. Anyone still here? That's what I thought. Fuck you, Game Informer. You never arrive on time anymore. Ray Rayon Cadena. Okay. Can I have the alarm myself? Oh, I can. I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. Whoa, for a second I thought I blew his shirt off. Alright, anyway, I got spotted, so I do have to restart. Actually, you know what? This might actually be a good stopping point for me for today. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. But we shall certainly play more later. Another thing that's on my docket for soon. Maybe even next. Depending on people's level of interest in this and stuff. Is I am thinking about... Uh, I've already got it ready to go. Playing uh, a blind playthrough of the... Really the only Resident Evil game I haven't beaten at this point. And that's Code Veronica. Uh, I got the PlayStation 2 ISO ready for Code Veronica X. The version that has retro achievement support. So, I'm going to be playing that really soon. Um, I'll kind of leave it up to viewers and leave it up to people like on Discord and whatnot, whether they want next for next stream to see more of Metal Gear Solid 3. Or next stream, I could just go right into Code Veronica. Um, but I'll kind of leave that up to the people. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up for right now. Um, I got some things to take care of. But I do, uh, I did enjoy having you guys here. I appreciate the new follows, the raid, the subscribers, all the good stuff. Uh, let's see who all is live right now. Um, let's see here. Oh, the casual hero is playing Resident Evil 4. Yeah, I'm going to raid the casual hero. We're going to raid the underscore casual hero. I met, the, I met casual hero in Murnite's channel, but I have not seen them stream before. Let's go ahead and give them a raid. And uh, like I said, I really appreciate you guys hanging out today. And I will be live again very soon. We'll play some more games.